Okay, so get soft taco shells, kind of big, like a burrito one. We need pizza subs, some olive oil just for when you make your meat, um, little pepperoni minis for kids, and then mozzarella cheese. I like Italian sausage on my pizza, so I bought um, Italian sausage free taken out of the casing and I just cooked that up. You can use really anything on the uh, chicken or whatever you like, ground beef, vegan meat, like whatever floats your pizza boat. So I bought jarred pizza sauce, of course you can make your own. So you can do these open face and then simply just cook them until everything melts and eat it open face like pizza. But I do it like, yeah. I do it like a quesadilla only because it's easier for, for the kids to eat it that way when it's actually closed. So this is Isaiah. Hi. Hi. So go ahead and stir that in, or you're going to stir it in a circle like you're making a pizza. And then you could, you could always add a little bit of sauce or you could add more sauce. You can add as much sauce as you like, right? Okay, what do you think about that amount of sauce? Nah, I need a bit more. Do you need more? Yeah. Okay, let's get you some more. Do you want a couple pepperonis? Just a couple? I want to add E9. Okay, good. Okay, so now... Yeah, hold on one second. So now we're going to add the cheese. So I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to have Isaiah spread it on there. So this is what's really cool is like the kids can help build their own. So go ahead and spread your cheese around really careful. Don't touch your sauce too much. Just spread it around. Good job. You want some pepperoni? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and take a couple pieces and then you're just going to put it on there how you like it. So go ahead and spread it all over your pizza. One, two, Good job. So I bought mini pepperonis, but you can really buy anything you like. Yeah. They look like tomatoes cut in right They on. do look like tomatoes a little bit. Okay, I love the way it looks. So that's Isaiah's. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to spray a pan with some non-stick just that's, a little bit. That's pretty cute. And then we're going to put that on a medium to high heat. And then, so we're going to take Isaiah's pizza and we're gonna bring it to the pan. And what I like to do is let everything melt open face um, um, so that it doesn't flop around when we fold it for the kids because I like to fold it for the kids um, to be a quesadilla. So let me let that all melt. Okay, so once that has melted and stuff is not gonna really flop around on you, you're now gonna fold it over like a quesadilla. So like I said, you can certainly serve it like this and slice it like a pizza, but since it's for kids, it's easier and less messy for them to eat if it's folded over. So now I'm gonna let this toast just a little bit more, and then we're gonna slice her up and see how Isaiah likes his uh, pizzadilla. Now that it's done, I don't let, I don't let it toast too much for the kids because then they complain that it's too crusty. So I'm just gonna cut it with a normal pizza slicer, the same way that you would cut a quesadilla. And you can see all the sauce and cheese in there melting out. How is it? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, you made that. Is it hot? Yeah, <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. But is it good? Is it tasty? Yeah. Thumbs up? All right. Pepperoni pizza, right, A? Eh? All right. Okay, so Sophia is making hers now. And then my sister's is cooking. She likes extra sauce, so I put a little bit of extra sauce on there for her. Yes, that's Sophia, enough. look at you. Yeah, I don't like a lot of sauce. Yeah, me neither. I like a little bit. 
You could put more cheese in that. That's not a lot of cheese. And also, you probably shouldn't wipe your fingers on your white shirt. Just the thought. Okay. Pizza. All right, so now we're gonna let her melt and then close her up for you.